الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم مباد امام نووی رحمۃ اللہ علیہ انٹائٹلڈ اے چیپٹر انٹائٹلڈ باب اکرام اہل البیت رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و بیان فضلهم ہی انٹائٹلڈ اے چیپٹر شوئنگ ریورنس ٹو دی فیملی اف دی میسنجر اف اللہز میسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ کلیریفائنگ دیئر greatness or superiority and then he mentioned two ayats qala allah ta'ala innama yuridu allah innama yuridu allah li yuzhaba ankum ar-rijz ahl al-bayt wa yutahhirukum tathhira wa qala ta'ala wa man yu'adhdhim sha'ayra allah fa in fa innaha min taqwa al-qulub allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Fi kitabi al-kareem, in the first ayat, Allah wishes only to remove al-rijas, meaning evil deeds and sins from you, O members of the family uh, of the Prophet wasallam, and to purify you with a thorough purification. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whoever honors the symbols of Allah, then it is truly from the piety of the heart. And in a hadith, very long hadith, Yazid bin Hayyan reported, I went along with Hussein ibn Sabra and Amr ibn Muslim to Zayd ibn Akram radiyallahu ta'ala anhum and we sat by his side. Hussein said to him, Zayd, you acquired great merits. You saw the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam listen to him talking, fought by his side in different battles and offered salat behind him. Zayd, you have indeed earned great merits. Could you narrate to us what you learned from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Zayd said, "By Allah, I have grown old and have almost spent up my age, and I have forgotten some of the things which I remembered in connection with the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So accept what I narrate to you. Do not compel me to narrate what I failed to narrate." He then said, "One day, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam stood up to deliver a khutbah at a watering place known as Khum." Uh, between Mecca and Medina, he praised Allah, extolled him, exhorted us, and said, Amma ba'du, O people, I am a human being. I am about to receive a messenger, meaning the angel of death, from my Rabb, and I will respond to Allah's call. But I am leaving with you two weighty things. The first is the book of Allah, in which there is right guidance and light. So hold fast to the book of Allah and adhere to it. He exhorted us to hold fast to the book of Allah and then said, The second is the members of my household. I remind you to be kind to the members of my family. I remind you to be to be kind to the members of my family. Hussein said to Zaid, Who are the members of his household, O Zaid? Aren't his wives the members of his family? Thereupon Zaid said, His wives are the members of his family. But the members of his family are those for whom zakat is forbidden. He asked, who are they? Zayd said, Ali and the offspring of Ali, Aqil and the offspring of Aqil, and the offspring of Ja'far, and the offspring of Abbas. Hussein asked, for all of them, the acceptance of zakat is forbidden? Zayd radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, yes. And this was narrated in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith and many other hadith, it clarifies for us our position with regards to Ahl al-Bayt, that we love them, and we hold them in high esteem. But what does that mean for us now as far as those who came later from Ahl al-Bayt? Of course, their fadila, their fadl, is that they are related to the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is their fadl. But if they are on bid'ah, if they are on uh, leaving the religion of Islam, then they lose their fadl. It will not benefit them in this life nor their next. And this is the general position of Ahl Sunnah with regards to Ahl Bayt and may Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala be pleased with them all. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. So it is from iman to love Ahl Bayt. And from the latter generations we love those in accord the people in accordance with their obedience to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. So if they are a person of the Sunnah on the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah then they have the fadl of being from Ahl Bayt. and the fadl of practicing the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam if they are from ahl bayt from the family of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but yet they were in wicked sins they're not practicing islam and and other than this then 
they do not have any fadl in that respect because that will not benefit them. Their, the ibra is Islam. And likewise, those Sufis and others who claim to be from Ahl bayt yes, there are those who are from Ahl bayt and there are those who lie to say they're from Ahl bayt And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. But anyhow, and the last point I want to make is that even if someone is from Ahl bayt that does not give them uh, the sanctions to change the religion and commit bid'ah and sin and wickedness. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.